Theodore W. Adorno was a German philosopher, sociologist, musicologist, and critic, born on September the 11th, 1903 in Frankfurt, Germany, and died on August the 6th, 1969. He was a leading member of the Frankfurt School of Critical Theory, an intellectual movement that aimed to diagnose the ills of society and explore the possibilities of social transformation. Adorno's work was wide-ranging, and he made significant contributions to various fields, including philosophy, music theory, sociology, and aesthetics. He is perhaps most well-known for his critical analysis of culture and its role in perpetuating social injustices and inequalities. Adorno was deeply influenced by Marxist thought, but also engaged critically with it, incorporating insights from psychoanalysis, existentialism, and other intellectual currents of his time. One of Adorno's seminal works is Dialectic of Enlightenment, co-authored with Max Horkheimer, another prominent figure of the Frankfurt School. In this work, they explore how the Enlightenment, which sought to liberate humanity through reason, paradoxically laid the intellectual and cultural groundwork for new forms of social domination and authoritarianism. Adorno and Horkheimer argued that the instrumental rationality of Enlightenment thought had degenerated into a form of irrationality, exemplified by phenomena like fascism and the culture industry, a term they coined to describe how mass-produced culture reinforces social hierarchies and stifles critical thinking. Adorno was also a significant figure in the realm of music theory and aesthetics. He was a trained musician and wrote extensively on music particularly focusing on the works of composers like Beethoven, Mahler, and his personal friend and mentor, Arnold Schoenberg. Adorno's writings on music often weave together cultural critique with in-depth musical analysis, reflecting his belief in the interconnectedness of art, culture, and society. His work remains influential and often controversial. While admired for his intellectual rigor and his commitment to social justice, Adorno has also been critiqued for the complexity and density of his writing as well as for his elitist tendencies, particularly in the realms of culture and aesthetics. Despite these criticisms, Adorno's work continues to be studied and engaged with, not just in philosophy and sociology, but also in a range of disciplines, including cultural studies, musicology, and literary theory.